Hello everybody and welcome back to another game of Popper. We are playing some Hexproof and we gotta ship this one, no lands. It'd be a great hand with one land though. Opponent might be doing some mulliganing of their own. Nope. Alright. We gotta ship this. Uh, well we got one creature. We do have some ways to get it back, so I guess we can keep this. And we have to put back... I think we're going to put back the Crumbling Vestige. Done. Oh, Slivers. Okay. Can we race this? On the play, I'm not sure. Oh, here's an Abundant Growth. That's really good. Um, hmm. Yeah, we definitely have to go with the Skyfisher here. So I think what I will do, should I go with the, okay, so I'm definitely playing the Snow-Covered Forest. Do I go with the Astrolabe or the Abundant Growth? The Astrolabe would let me um, play the Ash Barrens and go for the turn two core Skyfisher, whereas the Abundant Growth, well, it still would, but then I'd be stuck with a colorless source, and I'd be forced to get, to pick up the colorless source to eventually find more mana. So I think the Astrolabe is just slightly better in this case. Let's go with that. Ooh, we draw a little 1-1 uh, one, one Hexproofer. Oh, So opponent is not going to have a Lord on turn 2. That's good for us. Utopia Sprawl. Okay. So we could have a pretty fast kill here. Um, but I could slow myself down a little bit by going with a Glade Cover Scout. But I think it's probably worth it to just play the Ash Barons and go for the Core Sky Fisher. So let's play Ash Barons. Add white. And then play Core Sky Fisher. And we're going to actually pick up the Astrolabe here. Now we have a, a flyer with an extra power. We're a little far from Ancestral Mask. Well, not that far. Ooh. Oh! Oh! The slivers have flying. No attacks. No attacks. Oh, here's our third land. That's really good. Okay. So, let's play the snow-covered forest. How do we maximize this? So, I could go with um, Abundant Growth, Astrolabe, Utopia Sprawl. The Utopia Sprawl's free, so let's, let's do that. Let's play that here. We're going to choose green. Uh, I've got... Let's replay the Astrolabe. Draw a card. Another snow man, uh, another snow-covered forest. And then I guess we go with Abundant Growth on the Ash Barrens. Ooh, Armadillo Cloak's great. And now I can, um... I can actually play Glade Cover Scout or Rancor. Let's see. Next turn, I'm going to have one, two, three, four mana. So I definitely want to use. I guess it's slightly better to play the Glade Cover Scout. Because next turn, I'm going to want to go probably um, Ancestral Mass Rancor. And this just gives me another target in case they do have removal. And I don't gain much from playing the Rancor now. Let's play the Glade Cover. No attacks. We're still going to hold back. Boy, that was a long turn. Sorry about that. <laughs> Lots to play. Ooh, opponents on three colors. Though I can understand why. Though I'm not sure if Winged Sliver is worth splashing blue for. No attacks still. Okay. So let's play our Snow-Covered Forest. One, two, three, four, five. We still don't have enough to play Ancestral Mask and Armadillo Cloak. 
So I think here the best thing to do, unless they're holding up some removal, I mean, they're holding up some counter magic, which is possible. I think we kind of have to go for it. Yeah, I think the best play right now is Ancestral Mask here. Opponent is running some counter magic. Okay. And then Rancor. Get in with our 9-7. We'll hold back the core sky fisher to block. And then next turn we have Armadillo Cloak, and that'll really seal the deal. Alright. Cool. That was a that was a weird sequence of uh, plays that I needed to make, but it worked out. Hmm. What do we want against these guys? I guess Cartouche of Ambition kind of makes sense. We can kill, not a lord, but at least one of their little guys, though it doesn't really help if they have a lord, which they most likely will. I imagine they're running all 12. Um, we could try running a Flaring Pain uh, in case they do have some fogs. Did see, they only played two spells that entire game, so we actually don't have that much information. We don't even know if they're running any other colors, actually. So, hmm. Do I even sideboard? That's that's an important question. Maybe the lifelink is worth playing. And we can take out um, take out a maybe a utopia sprawl for it, and maybe just an astrolabe. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we can just cut an Astrolabe for another lifelink. Just so we can race a bit better. Opponent's going to be able to play again. Can't use the Utopia Sprawl with his hand, but we do have Glade Cover Scouts. This is probably too slow. Uh, we don't have any Pump, but we do have a Redraw and lots of uh, Hexproofers for chump blocking. I guess we can keep this and we will put back a bogle. Okay. Not a particularly fast start from them. I guess we'll go with the bogle on turn one. And see where that takes us. Next turn we can go, you know, double Utopia Sprawl and Abundant Growth. Plated Sliver, okay. Of course, Skyfisher's a really good draw. Let's play the Snow-Covered Forest. Let's play Utopia Sprawl on white. Oops, no, that was a wrong play. I should have gone green, green. Now what? <laughs> uh, yeah, you really got to think about every single little detail of a deck like this. Okay, I guess we're just going to go Abundant Growth here, and then we're going to have to lose our white mana unless I find... Ooh, Ancestral Mask is good. But uh, yeah, I, that was a mini punt over here. Hopefully it doesn't cost us... Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Well, how do we fight that? I guess we have to try to go with the core skyfisher plan. Yeah, how do we fight the standard bearer on uh, green? Now we play core skyfisher. Pick up abundant growth. Play our forest. Put abundant growth here. We draw another utopia sprawl. And we get in for one. Uh, so let's go on green again. Okay, so this is really bad. Um, what can we do here? I guess we have to bring in our own standard bearers. And the Cartouche of Ambition actually makes sense here. And Electricery. So we do have some outs here. Maybe not in this game, though. Poland still has not played a single... Uh... There's only one attacking, right? How do I read flanking? Yeah. Not great. Not great, guys. Okay, well, let's get in with the core sky fisher. My guess is he'll triple block. I think flanking is only with attackers. Let's put the ledge walker. Pass. Okay, gem hide, sure. Yeah, so we do need some answers to standard bear in our deck, because we lose <laughs> with it. And yeah, I think we're just gonna scoop it up here and um, Yeah, so let's bring in I guess we're gonna over sideboard. Own standard bearers. Uh, what else? Cartouche. We're going to take out Lifelink. And uh, we're going to take out... Hmm. Maybe one Core Skyfisher, one Armadillo Cloak. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe one Ranker. Maybe two rankers, and uh, maybe the core skyfisher. Hmm. Or maybe it's another ledge walker. Okay. Not used to fighting uh, hexproof hay here. Okay, we're gonna be on the play. Uh, yeah, we can definitely hold on to this. Let's keep. We have Utopia Sprawl. I'm gonna put it on white, I guess. Opponent goes with an untapped land and two plated. Yep, yeah, okay. Now here, I think it's Crumbling Vestige for green. Play Abundant Grove, play Standard Bearer. Yeah, that seems good. Abundant, uh, so Crumbling Vestige on green. Abundant Growth. Bogle. Good. And then, uh... Yeah, I guess Standard Bearer is still the best play, even though we drew a Bogle. 
next turn if they play a standard bearer, um, I can electricery. Okay, muscles, sure. That's a decent draw. One, two, three, four. So I can actually go Ancestral Mask Ranker. My guy will be a two, four, six, eight, an eight, six. That's pretty decent. Or do I play it on the? Do I play Ancestral Mask on Slippery Bogle instead? to avoid uh, some removal. I still have Electricery in case they play a... Um, in case they play a uh, um, their own Standard Bearer. That's a 5-5. Five, five. That'll block pretty well. And now we just need some sort of lifelink, I guess. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that hurts. Oh boy, that hurts a lot. <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're getting beat down here. I need something good and quick. Oh no! <laughs> okay, well, let's play Ranker. Uh, I guess I should play it on the Standard Bearer, and I have to use it defensively. Yikes. This is bad news. Predatory. Oh no, now they're too big. <laughs> oh, Aura Fracture. Oh my goodness. That's quite the card for us. <laughs> I think we're going to lose now. <laughs> yep. I guess I could have blocked and used Electricery. I guess we'll have to. That'll have to do. I'm going to have to throw my whole board in front of, uh... In front of these mu in front of these slivers. Oh no, now it's way too late. Okay. Well, he tapped out. I mean, he could use Aura Fracture to save his team. Because now I could go... Double block the Muscle Sliver and then Electricery. If they hadn't played another Lord, I could have killed both Lords, but now it's a bit late. I think it's probably still worth it, and then if they want to, they can sack a land. Yeah, how am I supposed to sideboard against so many different kinds of hate? That's that's the real tricky part about this deck. Is I mean I could have brought in Ray of Revelation. Oh, I'm still dead. Wow, that's right. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a lot to fight against when they they do run cards like Aura Fracture. It's hard to hard to win hard to win against something like that. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.